Thompson. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? Might you well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when. Are you in the market for something in particular? Always a pleasure. Welcome. Well, met. Would that I could spend well, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey. when treated to the you know where to find me a treasure chest shall we see if we can't make our way over to it this journey will be a long one what say we employ an ox cart and save our feet the blisters? The road ahead is long, Master. What are fairy stones for? If not time such as this ox I'll need to see some coin before I see me find spirits. It falls on me to resolve this. Ah, it is a relief to hear that Ulrika is safe. Mayhap there is aught I could do for her, pervasive though the Queen Regent's influence has become. My humblest thanks. You've proven a friend to Melv and me as well. It isn't much, but here, I would not see you go unrewarded for your trouble. It is good to know that...
this way. It was a bumpy ride. Well, shove up. This ox car. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my duty. You'll get Come my gut, you and feed you your entrails. Out of the car, all of you. I just buy a hot goblin. Was most effective. It was the mission, eh? We'll pull through. Continue our onslaught, and the behemoth will soon topple. I shall lead the charge.
Thank you, Arisen. I'm overjoyed to have completed the task my master set for me. Not a bad idea. In another world, I learned that a forgotten riftstone lies nearby. Shall I escort you there, Master? I shan't allow any further harm to come back. The Arisen has been put to sleep. Arisen. Well met. Looking for... To make a purchase, hope to see you again. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. How are we to get through this door? I've got a good feeling about this one. As I recall, we have another matter to attend to in this domain. Shall we head there now? It would save us having to make the trip again. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Welcome. Well met. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you. Always a pleasure. Only the Arisen can become a mystic spearhand, you know? Of course. 
We shall play our part in turn. We are here to support you, Arisen. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey. When treated to the... The foremost hospitality in all much obliged. She eludes me, but I'm certain there is time to be heading home. Look as long as you think. Come take a look. You'll be glad you did. Always a pleasure. Welcome to... And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So if all you check... The price, just remember. Many thanks. I appreciate it. It is most exhilarating to hand over such a sum. We've a journey to prepare for, after all. We can't afford to cut corners. Well, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey. when treated to the form much obliged I shall wait. I shall take this opportunity to observe our surroundings. Huh. 
My, my. I'm trapped like a rat in a cage. This arisen's both shrewd and fleet of foot. What? Can't you think of a reason? I'd thought you a keener wit than that. Let's just say there are some who don't want you wandering about as you please. I was to report on your comings and goings, you see. But I suppose that job's over. Now you found me out? So, how about it, friend? Will you let me go? I've no reason to trouble you any further. Understandable. Still, no harm in asking, was there? You there! Oh shit! We're in for it now! With all likelihood, he is an agent dispatched from Batal. Pray, let us handle the rest. We will hear all he has to say before the week is out. I bid you, wait till then. There's a ladder here. After you, Arisen. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to... assist you. Do come again. Welcome. Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it.
There are worse things that... I trust we've all inspected our equipment. Come, we've much to be getting... Hope you slept well. Welcome to the Star We Serve, all manner of fine ales here. Always a pleasure. Welcome to... We serve all manner of fine ales here. Come back any time. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Ah, yes. Regarding your pursuer from some days past, as we suspected, he was indeed an agent from Batal. When he learnt of your majesty's escape, he began inquiring after your movements. Tis a glad thing we captured him before matters escalated. As to how he learned your majesty's location with such ease, I intend to extract the answers from him anon. I shall be sure to inform you when I do. Pray, take this. So someone saw fit to monitor you all the way over in Batal. I suppose that means you're famous, Master. We ought to bring word of this to Captain Brandt. Here we are. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm. What do you think? Ah, Sir Arisen. I've been meaning to speak with you. Did you, perchance, pay a visit to the House of the Blue Sunbright? I see. After the rather strongly worded letter I received, I feared as much. It was under... Unique circumstances, shall we say, that Daphne came to reside with us. You must understand, the House of the Blue Sunbright is our most generous benefactor, and their favor hinges upon our continued discretion. Thus, for the sake of all who reside herein, I beg you to steer Daphne away from any further contact with that household. Though it pains me to perpetuate the girl's misfortune, it must be done, if the gracious hand is to continue to function. Do you perchance remember me? You once knew me as maid to the young master, Sebastian. Well, I'm his maid no longer. Though I meant no harm, the mistress saw fit to turn me out. Tell no other soul of this, but the girl I had you fetch was none other than Sebastian's own twin sister. A feared of inviting conflict over their inheritance, Daphne's family branded her a cursed babe and sent her away. Yet the loss of her newborn child drove the mistress half mad with grief. 
she's been bedridden ever since. I had hoped the sight of her long lost daughter might rekindle some vital spark within my mistress. But alas, it would seem it was not to be. I should tell you, Lubomir has passed. We did all we could, but we could not save him. Never before have I so fully grasped my own powerlessness. Would that I had been able to do more for him. I'll pick that up. We might have need of it. I can scarcely see a thing in this murk. to regret this. Oh. On the hunt for the grimoire entitled Towering Earth, are you? One moment. Here it is. Towering Earth, the Forsaken Text. Ah, you may take it. I can cast no magics myself, after all. Left in my care, tis as a pearl before swine. Not to mention... I've already read it. With the aid of Sir Kendrick and his helper in locating certain documents, I believe I finally grasp the true nature of this place. It was a royal library that was sealed off by a sovereign of some generations past. In a bid to pass the throne on to his own descendants, this sovereign attempted to consign our kingdom's histories to oblivion. Alas. It would seem that, no matter the age, the avarice of those in power is all but guaranteed. Yet, tis clear it serves them not. Almost laughably so. The Sovereign's line ultimately fell to ruin, and now this library, so laboriously sealed, has been discovered. What can we learn from this? Those who make light of history are doomed to be crushed under its heel. Fine timing, sir. Fine timing indeed. I've need of your services, you see. My time in that tenebrous jail has only hastened the deterioration of my eyesight. I stare at the page, but the letters stubbornly refuse to take shape. Yet these old eyes might serve some use if only I could wear the spectacles I had specially made. Alas! They were confiscated at the time of my imprisonment. As I recall, prisoners' possessions are held within the palace storeroom. It is a place to which few have lawful access, as I'm sure you can imagine. Though, as I hear it, masquerades are being held of late. Masquerades with a great many attendees, if you catch my meaning. Should you happen to enter the venue, mayhap? you would find an opportunity to liberate my poor spectacle? What say you? Would you consider doing an old man a favor? I am in your debt. Pray, infiltrate the venue and find... Strike fast and true, and our quarry shall fall. Feast your eyes on this! hardly keep you in my sights arisen let us endeavor to keep up though we are less fleet of foot what? magistrate waldhall's spectacles must be somewhere within the masquerade hall in the palace
I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace, discussing a curious rumor. Oh, did it pertain to the Queen Regent and an important personage, perchance? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. Yeah? What is it? I've not got food atwixt my teeth, had I? I've not got food at... Would you mind coming over here? Perhaps you would indulge me in conversation? Perhaps you would indulge... Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. As I've said, my husband has left to slay a Dullahan at the Ildua's resting place. I can't tell you when he'll return, so... We're here, Master. I would appreciate your swift return, Master. A fell unease begins to gnaw at me when you are gone over long. It is not our place to hurry the Arisen. Perchance you've heard. The coronation is soon to be held, it seems. The Sovereign, wounded in glorious combat with the dragon, is recovered at last. No tidings could be more joyous. Indeed, it is a weight off my heart to think that our fair vermin shall once again be governed by a true ruler. Never should have taken this shift. Surely I know it's sure I can handle this. I'm in fine time. About time I taught that dullard a lesson. You must know, I had no intention of killing Lubomir at first. Think of how insufferably his parents would howl. Lubomir was the only one bringing their family any money still. And yet, he came to know too much. So I had to dispose of him. If only you had stayed well enough away, he might still... So this is where you were, Master. I searched high and low for you. Our party is reunited. Surely we can ask for no more than that. I shall have no need to fear any letters, be they small or faintly scrawled. 
I shall learn aught I can, but the day might come when I can repay this debt I owe you. Many, many thanks. Take this as a token of my gratitude. That was certainly worthwhile. I begin to doubt I will... We ought to bring word of this to Captain Brandt. Fiend unknown is the most perilous. Remain alert. Sir Arisen, I trust that you will do what is right. But pray see to it that naught a kit. In the end, I suppose twas no less than my chip. What do you think? Does this suit me? Follow me, if you would. Have you a friend of destination in mind, Master? Very well. I shall follow your lead instead. The Arisen is capricious indeed. But don't despair. We shall count upon your guidance when the time comes. This ox cock. I'll need to see some coin before I let you off. It's this way. Halt! Who goes there? This village is under the direct authority of Her Grace the Queen Regent. We are to grant no unknown person's entry. Glad we understand each other. You may pass. You must go off on your own. There's naught to be done. I've a selection of wares that's sure to please. Ominous shield, eh? Tis a bargain, I reckon. I picked it up in Melv after the dragon attacked. Can't speak for its contents, but it certainly looks valuable. Hope to see you again. Let it end. I don't want to think any. There must be some way out of this. Give it up. You've nowhere to go. Well met. Glad to see you in good health. The tyranny of the Queen Regent's faction knows no bounds. 
Passage into and out of the village is restricted, and we're being treated as slaves. I had intended to endure it till Ulrika returned to us, but I fear the villagers have already reached their limit. I'll be honest with you, as you've earned my trust. We've a mind to leave this village for good. The Dragon's Flame has devastated the land here. Many of the villagers question whether it is worth attempting to restore it. When I mentioned as much in a letter I had smuggled to Ulrika, she told me that the village she's staying in would be glad to take us in. Only problem is how we're going to get past the soldiers. They've confiscated all weapons to forestall our escape. Perhaps if we could reclaim the stolen weapons or find a means of procuring some anew, we could force our way out through strength of arms. Alas, we villagers are kept under constant watch. It would be unwise for us to attempt aught on our own. You are our only hope in this matter. Pray, lend us your aid. Stop this! I beg of you! That's enough! Good. This can't be how it ends! All's lost! Here at the inn, I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But... Enough about me. Did you need something? Travelling in other worlds, our adventure continues. Come, we've much to be getting on with. A new day, a new perspective. That's it! My best efforts come to... How are you faring? Have you been able to procure any weapons for us? Your choice to make. Here at the inn, I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Do come again. Fire upon you! How are you faring? Have you been able to procure any weapons for us? You've reclaimed our weapons. Well done, sir. I am certain the other villagers shall be glad to arm themselves with their weapons of choice. My thanks. I'd wager we stand a fighting chance now. The time has come to leave this village behind. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. I've got you cornered, rat. Don't fret, I've got you. With me! Hold your ground. 
fast. Do not let our foe approach. Have courage! Withdraw and regroup. I have been. You have my gratitude for all you've done on our behalf. We'll make for the village Ulrika staying in on our own from here. If I were you, I'd leave this place before reinforcements arrive. At any rate, this is where we part ways. But if you're err of a mind to visit, know that we'll welcome you into our new homes with open arms. Till then, farewell. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Perhaps new discoveries await us about. I shall heal you at once. Halt if you please. Here at the inn, I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles... Myself. But enough about me. Always a pleasure. Oxcarts make for relatively safer travel. They can be most convenient, though they only travel. This oxcart. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Find place to harvest some ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? This ox cart's bound. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my... How dare you! The Cyclops are there! Fire's fury shan't be of aid against this one.
got a good feeling about this one. I've taken on too much. Perhaps it is time we returned to our base of operations and deposited some of our finds. Have you found any grimoires? No, not I shall divulge but one village assailed by the... Have you found any grimoires? Very well. Then your trial is complete, and I shall teach you my ma patience, my pupil. I merely wish to observe your skills a little longer. Well, well. Take caution in the practice of magic. I hope you're made of sterner stuff than that. Bear the talent for the acquisition of magics. One I would nurture by teaching you the culmination of my art. I do not do so lightly, for this technique is volatile in the extreme, but I trust that you will be able to control it. At last, the moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Gamers. Assemble. <laughs>